Welcome to my latest video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about swirl flap deletes um, and the reasons why you should really spend a little bit more um, to get the right quality parts to save you any problems in the future. Um, just for reference, I do have my dog here, BB. He's quietly relaxing, but he may show up later on. When he gets a bit uh, uh, investigative, he might start helping me. So anyway, further ado, I'm gonna. I've got two kits here. So this is the old one. This was bought off eBay for about twelve pounds with all the bongs. I believe this is a Chinese version. Um, this is the new one I've got from a company called Seabray Components, um, which I found on the. Um, BMW E60 uh, Facebook page. So let's first of all do a bit of measurement. Not sure how well it's going to show up. I'll, I know I should be using a micro meter to measure this, but I haven't got one, so we're going to have to use a ruler. So if you look at that first measurement, that is. 7 mil width on that. So let's check the new ones. Eight mil. So there's a one mil difference on these ones. So let's check the little O-rings here. as accurate as possible. And that is approximately six, five and a half, six mil on that one. So let me check this one. This is the new one. This is seven mil. So that's seven mil. And finally, we need to check the throttle body gasket. I don't think there was much difference on this one, but let's have a look. So that is five, it's about six and a half, seven mil width on that old one. Let's share the new one. Try and get it accurate as possible. Not much difference, I think about 7mm on that one. So, the next thing are the bongs. So this is the old one. From what I can tell, that the O-rings on the new one are a lot thicker and they seem to fit in a lot better. Just uh, pull one out here to show you the difference and they look better as well because the black colour really matches the manifold. Don't know if you can see that very well, but as you can see, the O ring looks a lot bigger on this one. So, put this back in. Let's leave it there loosely for now. So, the last thing I want to show you is the difference. I mean, that's an old one. That's a new gasket. And you can see that the two new ones at either end seem to stick out a bit more. That extra millimetre which is going to make a difference 
uh, and I'm not surprised I'm not sure if this is a good way of doing it but if I rest the ruler on there you can clearly see that there's a gap of about a millimeter so that millimeter will be letting out oil Let's see if I can use a bigger ruler about see a gap there just there if you just look that's sitting flat on both the new ones and the middle one is the old one and it's leaving a gap so that is not gonna help matters that's gonna cause leaks because remember you know the, these are precision parts so that one millimeter is going to make a difference so there's my advice um, if you do the swirl flap delete which i recommend that you definitely want to do you don't want your engine sucking in uh, plastic and blowing up um just make sure you spend a bit more money and get a proper kit um there's plenty of proper kits on ebay um, just do your search and just be careful because you don't want to end up buying the cheap Chinese versions um, and have any oil leaks coming out of your manifold and air leaks so just a short video there um, oh I hope that's a uh, good advice <clears throat> and I hope that will help someone out I hope you've enjoyed watching. BB has. Yeah, BB. BB, you enjoy the video? Yeah. Excellent. Thanks for watching. See you again.